Welcome back to another episode of Bavarian Motor Works. Now it's going to be a very uh, quick video. Um, basically, if you've ever come across the code 4530, uh, charge pressure low, uh, control deviation, most likely it is either going to be your actuator um, or it's going to be the turbo control valve. Now, if you've done the DPF delete, uh, sorry, the DPF delete, the EGR delete. Now, some may think this valve does absolutely nothing and it's not going to be a problem. Well, it definitely is going to be the problem. Now, I had that code keep coming up on this valve that I'm holding here. Now, this is a Chinese, um, I forget the name, it's a Yahoo or something. But I bought this a while ago, a cheap one for about 20 quid. It did its job for a little while, but again, it's gone faulty. My fault for buying an aftermarket cheap part. So I've replaced it with a Peerberg now. So even though the pipe to the EGI is blocked off, this valve will still function. So if you do come across that code, then more than likely this valve is going to be your problem. Now apparently you can test these valves by attaching a vacuum pipe to it and putting some vacuum in. If it holds the vacuum then it's all good but if it starts leaking out then there's your problem. So just bear that in mind if you are struggling with the said code it's either going to be your turbo actuator or this valve. Even if you do the DPF delete it, I've said it again, the EGR delete, this valve will still function, so it will need replacing. Um, my car kept coming up with that charge pressure low code, and now um, the DMA is absolutely clear and green, no more issues. So there you go, a very quick one, if you're struggling with this problem, there's your issue. See you in the next one.